It's time to relax, grab a drink, pull up a chair by the hearth, and have a seat in the Skald Circle to listen to the tale of The Peasants and the Satyrs from Flemish Folklore, as told by Casimir. Before we begin our story, we wanted to remind you that we release new tales for free every week. Our shorter tales release on Wednesdays, and our longer chapter stories release on every other Saturday. Find out where you can hear them on our website at thescaldcircle.com. And be certain to subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Podbean, Spotify, or whatever your favorite podcast app is. That way, you'll never miss out on one of our enchanting tales from around the world. And this is the tale of the peasants and the satyrs from Flemish folklore, as told by Casimir. One cold winter's day, a peasant set out on a journey which led him through the depths of the forest into which he had never hitherto been. The result was that he lost his way, and after wandering about for many hours in hopes of finding it again, he found himself, just as dusk was coming on, in a little clearing where he was overjoyed to see a small house with a cheerful light in the window. Here is a chance for supper and a bed, thought the peasant, and he made haste to go up to the cottage door. Now, this house in the clearing was not inhabited by men, but by some strange forest folk who were called satyrs. If you want to know what they were like, you must look at the pictures. Certainly peasants had never seen anything like them before, although he had heard of them often, and when he nearly tumbled over the little satyr children who were playing in the snow outside the house door, He was the most surprised man in all those parts. It was too late to draw back, however, so he went boldly up to the door and gave a loud knock. Come in, replied a gruff voice, and the peasant accordingly went in and found himself facing the father of all the satyrs, who had a long beard, a pair of horns jutting from his forehead. The poor fellow's knees tumbled underneath him for fright, especially when he saw all the other satyrs the mother, the uncles, the aunts, glowering at him. Uh, b- please forgive me for the intrusion, said he, but I have lost my way in the woods and am half dead with hunger and cold. It would be an act of great kindness if you would give me some food and allow me to take shelter for the night. So saying, to give point to his remarks, he set to work to blow upon his chilled fingers, which indeed were blue with cold. Why are you blowing on your fingers? asked the father of all the satyrs. Why, to try and warm them, answered the peasant, and he blew harder than before. Well, sit down, said the satyr. As it happens, we were just about to have supper, and you are welcome to share with us. So the peasant sat down to supper, and all the satyr family sat down too, and watched him with big, unblinking eyes, so that he felt very uncomfortable. A big basin of soup was set before him, and finding it very hot, he began to blow upon it. At this, all the satyr family cried out in surprise, and the father satyr asked, Why are you blowing on your soup? To cool it, answered the peasant. It is too hot, I am afraid to scald my mouth. Another and a louder cry of surprise came from all the satyrs. But the father cried out loudest of all, and seemed very indignant. Come, said he, advancing on the peasant and taking him by the collar. Out you go! There is no place in my house for a man who can blow hot and cold in the same breath. That smells too much of sorcery or magic. Out you go, I say, and practice your spells in the forest. So the peasant had to go supperless and spend the night in the woods. No shelter but the trees and snow for coverlet. And if you wish to know when all this happened, all I can tell you is that it was a very long time ago, in the days when fishes flew and cats had wings. And that is the tale of the peasants and the satyrs from Flemish folklore. Thank you for listening to our story. If you enjoyed it, we recommend taking a look at our Patreon page, as noted in the description below. You can earn great rewards while also supporting us, to keep these stories alive for generations to come. Also, remember to subscribe to us on your podcast app, and leave us a five-star rating if you enjoyed this story. A special thank you to Kat for their support this month. Without your contribution, we wouldn't be able to continue these stories and we truly appreciate it. Visit thescaldcircle.com to stay up to date with all of our current events, news, and much more. Not only that, but you can also visit our story archive of every tale we have ever told. It's sorted by origin and region for the convenience of your listening pleasure. Thank you for listening to our stories.